Hey guys, look for here and welcome back to the FIFA 18 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 82 rated Real Sociedad Cam Sergio Canales. He cost me 12,000 coins and in the six games that I played with him he scored me one goal and got me two assists and he does have a three star weak foot and four star skill moves and getting into his in-game stats for me his main standout stats are his 91 short passing, his 87 ball control, his 86 curve and his 88 division. And getting off into the review for this card, he has some very nice base card stats of 83 dribbling and 85 passing. Even 77 shooting on his base card is reasonable. However, stats such as 55 physical and 67 pace look very concerning. But uh, getting off though into the pros for this Canales card for me, his first pro was his passing. I was a massive fan of his passing. I thought his passing was pretty good. 91 short passing, uh, 88 vision, 86 curve was pretty damn good. Uh, for a cam as well, 77 long passing isn't that bad. Uh, obviously, if you're playing him in the centre midfield, you probably want his long passing to be a little bit better. But uh, for a cam, you know, long passing isn't a necessity. It's mainly that short passing, and he definitely does deliver in that 91 short passing. Even his through balls are very good as well. Even 82 free kick accuracy is pretty good. He could be, uh, you know, a free kick taker option for you guys uh, and some other stats to kind of point out in the shooting area uh, although shooting wasn't a pro for me 81 finishing isn't that bad as well as 82 long shots so some decent shooting stats there it's just his volleys and his shot power which just let him down to be honest and you could definitely feel his lack of um on shot power on some occasions unfortunately so that was a bit disappointing i wasn't a fan of his finesses i had like one finesse shot with him and there was just no power, no attempt to try and curl the ball, despite him having 86 curve, which was a bit weird. But, like, his curves from crosses and, like, his curve type of passes were pretty good. But, uh, that kind of ends his pros, unfortunately, for you guys. Getting up into the cons, his first con for me is his pace. Now, obviously, pace isn't the most important thing for a cam. However, 69 acceleration and 65 sprint speed is, once again, very, very concerning. If you put on the Hunter, it will resolve that issue 100%. But, um, you know, you could definitely feel... In a counter-attack situation, which I like to try and play, I like to be that Liverpool type of team that play on the counter-attack. You know, I've got Dembele, which is like Salah. I've got Omar Mars, which is, I suppose, like Coutinho. And then Del Piero, which I suppose is kind of like Firmino, I guess. But, um, Canales just doesn't really fit in with that, unfortunately, uh, which was a little bit annoying. But, um... Yeah, definitely his pace does need to be better, like a chemistry style or something like that. And then his real, real concerning part is his physical. Now, once again, physical, you don't often get cams with great physical. That's been seen in, like, Ericsson. That's been seen in Coutinho in the past as well, um, in Kante and stuff like that. But uh, 42 stamina... The, the only other card that I can ever remember having that, and it's obviously been fixed for this year, is Alessandro Nesta, who used to have, like, 40 stamina. I hope Canales gets fixed, I mean, because you get to the 70th minute and he's practically useless. Uh, he genuinely is. You will struggle to get a full game out of this guy um, because his stamina just gets destroyed towards the end. Also, 61 strength and 60 aggression. Yeah, that's fine, really, for a can, to be quite honest, but 33 jumping as well isn't very good. He's not going to be winning, really, any aerial balls for you guys. Uh, I just wasn't a fan, though, uh, you know, of, his, of the card in in that particular area because of his poor stamina. It really, really ruined his card. And also, he did feel sluggish on occasions. Despite his dribbling being okay in ball control and his in-game stats of dribbling, uh, 73 balance, 73 composure, 74 agility is just not good enough, guys, in my point of view. And uh, would I recommend you go and buy in this card? Probably not. I mean, if you do go and buy him for 12,000 coins, if you do sell him, you only lose on like 2k for like the discard value. But uh, personally, I would look elsewhere on other cards to buy. But I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10, guys. And that is going to finish off this player review. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.